and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Orzhov Angels. That's right, we haven't played the Angel Tribe in a little bit, so let's go ahead and update our Angel deck with our current metagame and give it a try. We had a donation to do that. So this is what I have here for the deck. One thing that I'm I'm not sure if I need all four tithe takers to the deck. That's something that we're, you know, whenever we play, we're going to see. I wonder if I should not have, you know, if I should have like three and then something else more on the top end. But, but yeah, we have, you know, Resplendent, Seraph, Shalai, Lyra. All these angels are just so good. And so that's what our, our Orzhov deck is kind of built around. We have our, like, tithe taker and Takali are our ground, ground stoppers, right? Like, they are anti-aggro cards kind of thing that do some blocking on the ground and let these angels take over in the air. I think honor guard may be really well positioned right now. Uh, Teamer elementals is on the rise. And so you just get to stop all of the elemental creatures. And then even from the other decks, sorry, from the other decks, you have like champion of dusk. The don't let them draw a whole bunch. The don't let the vampires draw a whole bunch of cards. You have Elvish rejuvenator um, in the lands deck. Don't let them ramp with Elvish rejuvenator. So maybe Honor Guard can do some good stuff for this deck. I think it's I think it's more impactful than Bishop of Wings, as another two drop that asking about here. Uh, I think Bishop of Wings is usually just a just a one four, and the life gain isn't super relevant. Uh, I think the Takali can be a more relevant card here. Uh, besides that, we have our removal. We got Cast Downs, Legion's End, Dispark, Othakaya. So we got some good removal. We got a Contempt in here. And then we have some really valuable um, card advantage cards. We have Midnight Reapers, which Midnight Reaper on its own is like, you know, it's just kind of fine. But it pairs, you know, pairs really well with Tithe Taker and like all these other cards, you know, it helps get you your card advantage there. We have Soren, which is going to be maybe like one of the key cards of the deck. Soren giving all these angels lifelink is awesome. Uh, bringing back, I think, like, one reason to play all these Tithe Takers is because of Soren. Like, you know, your Tithe Taker chump blocks, you Soren minus, bring back the Tithe Taker, and you still have, like, the other little Afterlife Spirit over there as well. The Soren's just going to be awesome. It's just great with Resplendent Angel, obviously. Um, just a really, really good quality card. It's very good with Midnight Reaper also, how you can play it, bring back Midnight or Resplendent, and it still has a loyalty on it. So it's really good with three drops there. And then top end, I'm going one command, one Ugin. Just been really impressed with Ugin uh, just all the time, basically. It's just a really good card. So, you know, a deck that's trying, you know, like that's kind of curving out. We're playing a Ugin and playing one command, the Dread Horde as well. Um, besides that, sideboard, obvious, duress is pretty obvious. We got some other various removal spells. Gideon is like our best anti Esper card. So, Gideon's coming in there against Esper. Command the Dreadhorde is very good against Esper as well, so we got a second one of those. And then Akaya's Wrath versus the green decks. So let's give this a try. Let's try out some Orzhov Angels today. All right, we're going to head on over to our con traditional constructed league. See if we can get to five wins before two losses. Yeah, Bishop of Wings is very good against Mono Red, but... Even like how you're saying, like maybe put in the sideboard for mono red. I think that's pretty narrow. That's a pretty narrow sideboard option, basically. Uh, yeah, I think we're we're already going to be pretty decent against mono red to begin with. And mono red's also not very popular. And so, if mono red was a lot more popular, then maybe. But then, of course, if mono red was a lot more popular, then Bishop of Wings would probably just be in the main deck instead of Tithe Taker. All right, so what kind of blue-green deck is this? Is this Simic Flash? Is this Nexus? Is this Elementals? Flash deck. All right, well, Honor Guard stops Frilled Mystic and um, Merfolk Trickster. Having a bunch of 
Tithe Takers is definitely good for this matchup, even though we don't have the Tithe Takers in hand right now. But they'll be useful in future games if we draw Tithe Takers. Yeah, we could... It's it's certainly possible that we could be playing some you some colorless utility lands. I'm a big fan of basic lands, but the deck could probably fit one, definitely one. Like you could fit one utility land, I suppose. Which one? I don't I don't know. You know, they all have like their pluses and minuses, but there could there could probably be one colorless utility land in here. July was my worst card throughout July. It was the worst card. These unsummons are killing me. Hopefully no more unsummons. Or removal of any kind. No. That means I have to chump block with her Splendid Angel. That's really rough. I guess I could trade with the Cutthroat, the 4-3, and go down to 1. All right, so you played the Grixis Ego deck against the McFlash, took the four Cutthroats, then the Frilled Mystics, and the Nightpack Ambushers. <laughs> Very nice. Talk about it. All right, well, we're at one little life here. We could really use Lyra Dawnbringer. So the problem with blocking with Tithe Taker and Seraph that I just realized is that if we block with those with both of those, then uh, they get to play the wolf on my turn instead of just playing it on their turn. That was kind of my plan to begin with. If I have Honor Guard and Seraph block, then Frilled Mystic is taken out. Thanks, Honest. Glad you like the playlist. Temple of Skrylands. I think they're playing the wolf this turn.
Thanks, Yud. Uh, what are all these lands doing? I wish we actually got to use Shalai's ability in the deck. Four. That's a good one. I guess I should see if this resolves first. Before attacking out and then playing it. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> I was actually planning on playing Mono Black today, uh, CV Sock. I was planning on playing that, uh, but then we got another donation deck, so, you know, we had... I definitely want to play the, the Sultai deck, but that was going to be the other deck I was planning on playing. We had a later donation deck today. So, I think Saturday, which... Or maybe Friday. Either Friday or Saturday, we'll be playing Mono Black again. We'll play one of those two days. We'll play mono black aggro. The other day we'll play mono black control. Oh yeah, Hawkeye's here. He's gonna help us five zero for sure. Um, what are we doing here? I guess this card's awesome against the wolf. This thing's just as good against the wolf. We play a whole bunch of duresses. Play some of these things. I don't want to play command. Right? Or why why don't I want to play command? Isn't command actually kind of good? Uh, maybe it's not that good. What do we have that's bad here? I mean, is it just like just take out the expensive spells? But the thing is like Ugin resolves. Ugin's awesome. Shalai is not so good. All right, we'll take out Shalai's. We're going to go down to three dress. I don't think there's enough stuff for rotation proof mono black. I don't know if there's enough stuff in there. Soren's really good at bringing, like, you know, they counter these creatures, then Soren brings them back. Ooh, Reaper will enter. Any unsummon here? Yeah, Land War Elves are rotating. If, if you watch the videos with the decks with Land War Elves, I talk all about that. 
But yeah, bas basically, Land of Elves is, is too good not to play, and it's just a common, and I recommend people, even even though it's leaving in a couple of weeks, it's still a good card to craft. So I was still saying, even for the people that want, like, the rotation-proof deck, like, they want to play cards that are rotation-proof. Like, Land of is the only card that I was making an exception for. It's just too... It's too strong. It's the only one. Um... Okay. Hmm. So, keeping the Temple of Silence looks like it's going to hurt me because I didn't have five mana, five on tap mana that turn. And Trickster just kills me. So, it looks like whenever I kept the Temple, like, I knew I was going to need more land, so I kept the Temple of Silence, but we need an untap land, it looks like, or I need to unload that Temple of Silence earlier. Let's get another lead, one more Legion's End in, one Midnight Reaper out. Not gonna cut Lyra. No, I, w I would not say to, to not craft anything before the new set. I wouldn't say that. It's still, it's about six weeks away right now that's still a long time to be able to play the cards and everything i just started fire emblem yesterday sin christ i'm just a couple hours in now no double white Boo. I chose the Black Eagle House. So no double green. Ugh, that one card we didn't know about was a counter spell. Boo. Yeah, get rid of that essence scatter, please. All right, this works out. Now all we have to do is draw a white source and then Resplendent Angel should be able to take this away. What are you doing? Frilled Mystic King over there? He 
You want these elf lizards and not any cute puppy dogs? Keeping the two mana up so we would be able to kill a pup puppy dog. He would come down. Because the dog's how we're going to lose. That dog's really powerful. That's an easy block. All right, well, they just threw away the Merfolk Trickster. Thank you. These Takali Honor Guards doing some good work. Not the best trades for me. But we're at the like we can just we can afford to do them though. Because we still have all this stuff, and they don't have stuff. So I'd rather be on the side of having stuff than not having stuff. Or if you're... Or if you're Nestle, you can have double stuff. I'm kind of assuming the Nestle is the brand that makes Oreos. I could be wrong there. <laughs> Nabisco, that's the one. Okay, ah, uh, Nabisco. Yeah, wrong it, wrong N company. Nabisco. Okay, yeah. So Nabisco can have double stuff. I'll just take my regular stuff, and opponent has no stuff. So there we go. That's that's the hierarchy of stuff. I have stuff. Nabisco has double stuff. Opponent, no stuff. I I thought I updated that to one zero. I guess I wrote oh oh. I guess I hit the wrong key. Nabisco is just a, a company that makes uh, crackers and assorted goods like that. Is this Simic Flash again? Is Tithe Taker gonna get him? Hmm. Sure, we'll take that land. Getting to Ugin is probably pretty important. Darn, not Simic Flash.
Maybe it is a McFlash. With Risen Reef. Yeah, Takali Honor Guard being a 4 of in our deck does look pretty, pretty decent against the cards that our opponent has played so far. We will not fail. Behold, nature's true power. All right, we're going to draw a land and have Ugin kill this Nissa, and then they're going to only have four lands. No, this temple! Killing me again. You're killing me, temple. Hmm. I am fragile. <laughs> the temple only wanted to help. Yeah, I'm sorry, temple. <laughs> You're just trying your best. Doing what we're all doing out here. We're just trying our best. So now they have nine potential mana here. Can certainly be a problem. Hopefully no crisis, but from what I've learned is that any time an opponent plays a Nissa and then untaps, they always have crisis. It's just automatic. There's just never a time where it's not crisis. Automatically crisis. We are but moats in a tomb. I can create or destroy. I must seek Man, imagine if we would have drawn that untapped land to be able to play Ugin last turn and kill the Nissa. They would have just had their four manix. They had the temple. Would have been a lot better. Our next two cards were untapped lands with the planes that we scried at the bottom and then the swamp. So that certainly hurt. Now they have seven cards. They have just a new new opening hand over here. Unfortunately, we didn't have Honor Guard game one, but you know we'll know that Honor Guard is really good against our opponent's deck. Truth lies beyond vision.
Disparking Agent doesn't do anything. They still gain control of your your permanent. They still gain control of your permanent. Why not chump with spirit? This thing has trample. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. Seek and find. Meow. So we'll have some we'll have a good sideboard plan here. Right on schedule. The Kaya's Wrath in the sideboard should certainly help. Yeah, the spirit flies. Yeah. Yeah, spirit flies. They don't really have a bad choice here for like what they want to do with the Teferi. I've got it. And that's included in the not a bad choice. cards over there you could definitely just minus the tamio and gotten to fairy back and bounce the honor guard and then done that you have the good old seven mana two three over there i have learned much from my ancestors <laughs> no i'm not gonna oops back wow just Playing a three mana one one for no reason. Opponent's throwing this away. Now they can't get back to Fairy. I question this outcome. Straight up throwing it away. I protect that which cannot protect it. So what happens whenever you counter something with Frilled Mystic and then say oops? They had all the cards in the world. There's no no reason why we should have won that game. No reason at all. So we're going to have Noxious Grasps in here, certainly. This Kai's Wrath. Do I want the extra command the Dread Horde? Them having Tamio certainly makes me want to have it more.
think everything kind of goes over the top of Tithe Taker. Legion's End is really important against Krasis. Doesn't have a ton of other hits. Their lands aren't bad hits either, though. Hey, Project Vanner. Getting that gifted sub from 619. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the sub count for today is absolutely crazy. One of my favorite numbers, 41. Good old Dirk Nowitzki. Nataba, join it in the hype. Let's get some more hype votes for our new sub. Thanks, Nataba. Yes, Legion's End can hit multiple animated forests. Yes, they have to be the same, you know, they have to be the same name. Uh, you know, if there's like a, a forest and a breeding pool and a temple of mystery, you know, like it's, it could, you know, it can only hit one of those. But yeah, if they animate the same type of land multiple times, you can get them. Yeah, there's going to be a uh, Novitsky Way downtown. Which I'm happy for. Dirk definitely deserves a street named after him. He's just such a he's just such a good guy. Like one of the one of the absolute best professional athletes is just like as just a person. Really hoping not turn three Nissa. Okay, good. Kind of want to cast down this Leaf Kin Druid. Still have a four four crisis. <clears throat> four five Hydra. Can we draw some spells though? <laughs> it's just all lands over here. All right, Othakaya was a good draw. Kill off that Nissa. Does he have trample? Wow.
bleh. It's always crisis. Come on, deck. I just gotta beat a 3-3. Three, three. So we scried two lands and commands. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten lands already. Come on. 11 lands already. <laughs> Stop, deck. Yay. My presence alone. Ugin's just kind of always awesome. Always awesome, the Ugin story. So they still got, you know, a few cards because of the crisis. Like, you know, like this isn't, you know, they could just have like Agent of Treachery and stuff like that. <clears throat> Angel, Agent of Treachery would be a huge problem. Hey, Inglewood Jax. Thanks for keeping that resub going. Glad you are learning. Happy to have you here. Thanks so much there, Inglewood Jax. Death. 43. That wasn't a bad draw. It would have been better to have a removal spell for deputy attention where the Nugan could have killed that thing, but I'll take it. Oh, yeah, we have a very slow clock right now. Certainly. Still only three more turns, though. 
We're getting there. Slowly but surely. I will what a draw. The of this world. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Do I go to three? I don't, I don't really think I go to three. So that's 12 lands here, plus the three we scry to the bottom. 15 lands. Of our 25. A Resplendent Angel. We'd be like able to double activate Resplendent Angel. Oh, come on. So their last four cards were Frilled Mystic, Nissa, Risen Reef, Krasis. That was their four cards in a row here. We're just drawing lands. And our July. The land shall conquer you. Yeah, that is not very lucky at all. So yeah, to spark elder spells, obviously great against Nyssa. Yeah, Gideon is definitely a consideration. Definitely considering Gideon here, like, instead of Midnight Reaper. The thing is, like, you know, Gideon doesn't block. They have Nyssa. That's not going to be so good. What if we have... Maybe one Gideon, one Reaper. Let's try that. I wouldn't mind having that Elder Spell and the Dispark in there. But we have to be worried about all the other stuff in their deck too. Alright, 
And this is a hand where we're definitely going to need lands. to genius. Go, zombie knight, go. Gideon would look a little better right here. Turn three on an empty board. That's not always how it is, though. Yep. <laughs> Gideon would look a lot better against that thing. Trust me, I have a plan. They have prison realm now? that thing get in prison realms. This might be a bad idea. Here we go. Well, hope, hopefully we get to play Dawnbringer next turn. Do they just suddenly have tons and tons of removal now? Hoping we get to have Shalai kill Teferi. All right, well, we're going to have to contempt the Nyssa. We will meet again. Are they going to have Veil of Summer? Doesn't seem very likely. Oh, but Frilled Mystic. Oh, man. If I just played into Frilled Mystic, that would be sad. Not that. I guess it's not the worst because we have these, but if we draw land. Alright, well this was... That was the worst play I've made today. In this in this league. That was the worst play I've made in this, in this match. Because of Frilled Mystic. We'll see if we ever play a game where they don't have three three uh, Hydra Crisises. Probably not. Probably not. Man, this is sad. We're going to lose this match after we won game one when we had no business winning game one. And then we were ahead game two, but an opponent top decked a lot better than us. Game two. Sad. If this Midnight Reaper was Gideon, we would have had a whole lot better chance here. Well, they would have prison realmed it, but they wouldn't have had the Teferi. Ugh. Yep, there's just no justice for the bad manners from earlier. No justice.
Um, that was maybe the, my least favorite match I've played you know, all week. Sometimes your mana base just does that to you. You know, we saw 15 lands there, game two, and we couldn't play Lyra. Couldn't draw a fifth land to draw to play Lyra. Game three. And that's magic. So Jess guy, go with the Reaper. Now this just happened to our opponent now. Same thing that happened to us last game. All right, Chronic Slayer. Have a good one. Poor opponent. That was our kind of game last game. Hmm. So Jeskai Control, we're gonna need Elder Spell, Duress, Dispark, Command, Grasp, Gideon. All right, coming on out. Honor Guard, Cast Down, Legion's End. Then what am I trimming up here? Shalai? One Lyra, two Shalai. And then one Resplendent. All right, that looks good. Fortunately, the Angels just aren't very good against Control. They uh, get one for one removaled very easily. So we're diversifying our threats here. <laughs> Playing lands is a scam anyway. Oh, I didn't publish this. Interesting. Is that the veto from Dovin? It was opt. So we need another white source to be able to play the Black Blade. May not be able to play it immediately.
Alright, no Black Blade for this turn. If we can draw lands, we'll be fine. He only got a couple of cards over here. That Clarion doesn't really matter. That one kind of matters, though. It's a much better divination. Getting two impulses. Alright, there we go. We got Gideon. Gideon does a very good job. Fury will only lead you astray. Killing Narsets into fairies. Oh, I guess I could have done life link for a turn. Could have gained one life. What to do? Your light will cleave the dark. <laughs> Don't think one life's gonna gonna help us. Alright, we'll gain that life now. I'm a little surprised they didn't activate Narset afterwards. Like they knew like the Gideon would be able to kill the Narset. I don't know. Good thing that's not Ixalan's binding. Play a new Gideon. Not again. So that that land lets us I march into cast Ugin next turn. Justice. Prepare for battle. But maybe I should just be putting that land to the bottom, to, you know, thinking the game's gonna go longer and we'll probably find another land. With the thought process that maybe we don't need Ugin immediately. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Oh, I've done the hero thing to war. Alright, the last part of the Tithe Taker. Out of here. Share in my light. You just let me know if you're up for round Bravery two. wasn't enough. I came into being long before you. Secrets manifest before you. Did they have all six mana? Yeah, so did they have the ability to Teferi, bounce the prison realm, so then have to get rid of one of the Gideons, and then prison realm the other Gideon? Those who cannot hone your they did, price. right? They didn't just play the land drop afterwards. They only had two lands? Okay. So be it. But yeah, it's still probably better, though. I'm Sorin Markov, Lord of Innistrad. <laughs> I am Slow all technique. I need for blood. Train harder. <laughs> One. 
One less fiend to fight. I will lend you my strength. <clears throat> I'm not going to let them do that line of getting rid of both my Gideons. Hey, Steph. I require your body, not your soul. Well, unfortunately, it's not Ixalan's binding now, because now we have the spark that would have been able to take care of it. So this should these two creatures. They, you know, maybe this this baits out like the Clarion, and then we get our Command the Red Horde back. And then Command the Dread Horde's gotta be pretty good. The Sarkin's exiled. We get Narset to Fairy Gideon. I guess we get three. I am Khan. A curious choice. Yeah, I could have destroyed one. That's true. I could have destroyed one. Could have destroyed the one with Ugin and then have Ugin. Destroy the other one. I guess that would have been better. Yeah, that would have been better. I don't know why. I was thinking just get, get the other Gideon out. But yeah, that would have been better. This tight see the tight taker just does a lot of work. Keeps on coming back. I know eighty eight words. Stand by and from this play. I have just the trick for this. Well, that dress is nice. Nothing. That works out. <laughs> Time for a drink. I believe in you. Truth lies beyond vision. Well, this looks pretty good for us. <laughs> Five planeswalkers. Four cards in hand, all against a deafening Clarion. I think we're going to win this. <laughs> yeah, that Command the Dread Horde card. Kind of messed up. No, I am not making this up With as I go. Before action. Oh, I should take up Ugin first. You coming back, Tide Taker? Accept the darkness within. Your light will cleave the darkness. Too many planeswalkers to activate. Opponent got bored and, and conceded. Yeah. Steph! Getting that gifted sub there. Santa 619. Welcome, Steph. Now you get to use all your hype boats now. Okay. 44. 
subscribers on the day. We are already one sub goal towards our next 12 hour stream. Besides, we're gonna be doing the one on Saturday where I'll be starting with the MCQ first and then um, and then going from there. Oh, Pinnell, hey, GG's. GG's, yeah, we have, we have one command in the main and another one in the board for those control matchups. But yeah, it's that's a that's a nasty card right there. Yeah, there's a lot of people gifting out subs earlier. We had um, a few people gift out five or ten subscribers, and then we also had a good amount of normal subscribers as well. The Roach Deity, Chronic Slayer, Zerf, Johnny Pot Pie, all four of them. Gifted out subs. Yeah, I'll be streaming the MCQ with no delay. Yeah. Simic Flash. Does Honor Guard get on in there? Ooh, Honor Guard is getting on in there. Bertaloo. Bertalux. Bertalux. Bertalo. Who knows? It could be anything. Anyway, can't miss that tie. Thanks for staying on at the two month streak there, Bertalux. No, I don't know what exactly what deck list I'm playing. Oh, oh, this oh oh sorry, so sorry. I was I'm sorry, Opanel, I thought you were talking about for later on. But yep, that's that's the deck right there. There's a link to the deck list. No, I wouldn't say that I'm real big into metal music. No, not really. Uh, Bird of Lux. No, I I just can't stream. I probably won't be streaming until 3 a.m. I just can't. I got to build my streaming stamina back up after taking the day off yesterday. So it gets exiled, so we don't even get to bring it back with the Vengeful Blood Lord. Hey, what's up, Axis? Thanks for that tier one sub. Welcome to the channel. No, no, no. Resplendent's our most important card in our hand. Resplendent, because once if you land Resplendent, then you, all you have to do is just use this activated ability all the time. So Resplendent is definitely not the card to, to try to get countered. That's the one that you try to sneak in. All right, that's not so bad. All 
I don't think they have a counter spell here. I think they're going cutthroat. Okay, they had a counter spell. If I have a mass amount of wild cards saved up and no decks made, what is worth investing into at the moment without waiting six weeks? Do you... It's like easy. Do you just want like one of like the very like the very best decks in the format, or like like vampires is probably number one. Um, Band scape shift, you know, Esper. Like those those are like the the very top decks in the format. Is that? Let me remind you. Is that what you mean there? Or do you want like decks that are not going to have cards that ro rotate out? Embrace. Cause yeah, like those those are gonna get. If you want if you want like ideas for for good decks that are not gonna rotate out, um, you know, on the YouTube channel there. Um, on the YouTube channel there, I've I was playing especially yesterday. I was playing or Monday. I was playing a bunch of rotation proof decks. There. The like the Demir control looked really good. As far as a deck that's not hit by rotation either. I think Vampires is the best deck in standard right now. If I if I had to choose just one, I would choose Vampires. That doesn't mean that other decks can't win, of course. Everything can win. doesn't do anything. I was planning on just activating Resplendent Angel with them being tapped out, but we drew the Legion's End. We got the cutthroat, another Cutthroat from their hand. Like, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. I don't need to play any creatures, so Essence Scatter doesn't do anything. So, yeah. We good. It's a lot easier to beat Flash when they only have two mana, so they can't, like, play threats and counter stuff. They can't double spell. So if we want these, we want these, we want just those. I guess Noxious Grass is better than Dispark because you gain a life. I guess. A Reaper out. Try like maybe Command out, Ugin out. Reaper, Shalai. Three duress. Yeah, so at the end of course. Yeah, I never, I never mind y'all, like, you know, you're having your conversation and, you know, you want to share a link with somebody with, like, the conversation that you have there. I, I never mind that. That's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, the statement, I don't know... Like, so my thoughts on this statement, I don't know what the current best deck in Standard is, but I'm quite sure it contains Breeding Pool and Nyssa. So two very, very good cards, but I wouldn't necessarily agree, because as we, as we were just talking about, I believe that the Vampire deck 
is the best deck. Um, Breeding Pool and Nyssa are awesome. How Breeding Pool and Nyssa beat vampires consistently is kind of the... That's one of the tests. It's a major test right now. Uh, I'm going to try that out with Sultai like, later on. Cause the Sultai deck that I... Um, two Cutthroats. The Sultai deck I, I made... Um, I am really interested in playing that this weekend for the MCQ. Just kind of like cards that I want to play, basically. And they'll be interesting to see. You know, that's a Breeding Pool Nissa deck. See if that can beat Vampires. Going towards black for Hostage Taker, which is awesome against Vampires. So next turn, I'm going to Othakaya a Cutthroat. Could just, could just go Tithe Taker here. No, it's Othakaya. Yeah, it's got to be Othakaya. Hey, what's up, Lord of Turtles? Thank you so much there. Oh, yeah, I took the negate because I I want to have the Othakaya kill a cutthroat. Best thing possible would be, like, an instant speed removal spell for us, like a cast down. Something we could play on their turn, though we don't let them frilled mystic on our turn. Cast down would be a really good draw. Darn. That card's good. Gotta hope they don't have a wolf. Alright, so if they have removal, I probably lose. If they don't have removal, I probably win. Of course, they get a draw multiple cards a turn here with the Sailor. If they ever find removal, I die. If they don't find removal, though, I'm looking pretty good.
Yeah, so like, um, as far as removal goes, the trickster count, you know, trickster would have counted there. And unsummon. So they just have two mana untapped. I could go for like Honor Guard Dawnbringer. If Dawnbringer gets countered though, it's really bad for me. It's not like really bad for me, I guess. But it's bad. I just don't have to, though. We can just do this. Get back up to 13. Because, yeah, if I, if I just go Honor Guard first, they just let it resolve, and then I try Lyra, and they Essence Scatter Lyra. Or Syncopate. That would put us in an awkward spot. But you see, like, how good Resplendent Angel is. You just don't have to... Like, you know, against those counterspell decks, you just don't have to play anything else. And so that's why earlier I had threw Reaper out under the bus and wanted to have Resplendent Angel resolve. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, Lord Turtles. Oh, if you want me to just look at the deck. Um, yeah, you can. If you just want me to, to take a look at, at the deck, you can, you know, you can always send stuff on Discord. But you can you can also send it here. You know, just tag me and and say it and stuff. Um, I may not, you know, I'm, I'm also playing and doing everything else, so I may not do a whole lot. But if you would like... If you'd like a deck tech, a five to ten minute deck tech on stream with the deck, that's a ten dollar donation. Um, if you'd like me to play the deck through a league, of course, that's a twenty dollar donation. But I also just take, you know, especially like sending me the deck on like Discord or something. If you just have a, a suggestion of like, hey, maybe you'd like to play this deck on stream, I, you know, I may play the decks also. Uh, if you if you ever have. If you don't have the money to donate for a deck, but you'd like to just suggest a deck to me, you know, no, no promises or like of like when or if or when I would play it. But anyway, that brew, welcome to the channel as well. You are a rock star. Thanks so much there, that brew. And Mouse gifting out a sub to Jerlaxel. So that is sub number 50 on the day. That's another sub goal towards the next 12 hour stream after, we're already doing a 12 hour stream Saturday. We are getting our, our sub goals towards the next 12 hour stream. Oh, thanks mystery marks. That's what I hope to, hope to have there. All right, so they're doing this because I scryed to the top. No big deal. Splendid Angel was nice, but not necessary. Oh, thanks, Vapru. Yeah, glad glad you're enjoying the YouTube channel. And thanks for that support. All right, so we're we're already two sub goals towards the next twelve hour stream. Crazy. Nice, Alexis Bros. That's a that's a nice Saturday there. That's a nice Saturday. Hey, once again, no, no draft day. You'll thank me later. That's more like it. So 
all constructed here. It's only a matter of time. Oh yeah, I understand it. It took me like... Like, I was playing Zelda Breath of the Wild for like six months. I played through the game twice, though. But yeah, like, that's a, that's a long game. They just pass turn with nothing? They're just like, I got, like, no... There's no circuitous route or nothing? There. <laughs> no, I'm not a World of Warcraft player. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Roach, you're so, so nice. Thank you so much. All right, well, we got the, the SS hype. It's going to be going off for a little while here. So we have Scape Shift, where we definitely want these other Legion's Ends. I'm kind of feeling like the Gideons could put some good pressure on the Scape Shift deck. Maybe. Let's see. Duresses, all the duresses come in, of course. Um, don't really need Command the Dread Horde. Was it worth it to trade away the Cavalier? It was your wipe insurance. Oh, you're talking about the Midnight Reaper? Yeah, I guess I, guess I wasn't too worried about a board wipe main deck. 20 gifted subs there from Roach. Um, Oath, Oath kills little Teferi, right? They like play it in minus, but that's not very valuable. Um, Tithe Taker, not super valuable either. It does attack. All right, I got to figure out what we're doing here. We got 20 seconds. Um, I think we really need Soren. Uh, cast down can go. Dispark can certainly go. Um, oh, I don't know if I submitted it in time. I was trying to click submit. I'm not sure if I did. <laughs> Thanks, Rise Alive. Yeah, like a hundred and I had one stream before like a, a Christmas day or a New Year's Day, maybe a New Year's Day. One of those a while ago that uh, I had like 120 subscribers, 125. That land's not bad, but we're going to need interaction, likely. Okay, so yeah, we didn't get to, we didn't sideboard. Darn. I was hoping they had a bunch of Elvish Rejuvenators in hand, which is why I went with the Honor Guard here. I was hoping it was just all Rejuvenator all the time. <laughs> Thanks, Eisenhower. So, turn four, I already have seven lands over there. It's a pretty good card.
I'm known for my excellent fighting. I'll protect you. So it looks like our opponent just has combo kill unlocked here. Their hand was pretty awesome. I don't I don't mind them having a great hand this game where my hand's pretty bad. I didn't sideboard. Like they Yep, they got the combo. So like if they're gonna have an awesome hand, that was a good good game for for them to have the awesome hand. Now let's actually get our interaction in here. Oh, I need a sideboard faster. That that's a fairy card. You just go into fairy instant speed. It's pretty rough. I don't actually want honor guard, do I? Just stops Elvish Rejuvenator, and it's just this one three that doesn't do anything. So I either cut the last honor guard or I cut something else. And so now we're we got a minute to think of like what's the last cut. Um, which I guess it's just the honor guard. Doesn't stop crisis at all. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the YouTube viewers may be a little upset at, at the sub notification happening so many times. But hopefully they get over it. <laughs> You're No, I like Rex. I like Rex more than Filthy Teferi player. As far as the name is. So many ties in chat. Oh, hey. Glad, yeah, glad you're enjoying the channel there. Found it from YouTube. Oh, I forgot about Othakaya. That was a card I was going to take out. Hey, Theorer. Getting that gifted sub. Oh, if this was just, if it was just Honor Guard instead, would have stopped that Rejuvenator. I guess I just trade and get a 1-1, one, one, I suppose. We're going to need more land. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about Othakaya. I don't I don't want Othakaya in this matchup. Best thing Othakaya can do is kill a Teferi that just minus. But no, I, I mean, cast down would be better than Othakaya also to kill the Jellyfish. Land. Hooray. Yeah, this is not a this is not a great matchup for us, no. So Roach is here from YouTube. What brought me into your videos was how I'd disagree with a play and you'd do something different, but then after you did it you'd explain it and make more sense than what I was originally thinking. Okay. That's good to keep describing describing the plays and everything. So that obviously is a huge blow to us. That time wipe, you know, resetting Krasis, 
getting rid of my Lyrish ally. That is likely going to be the game right there. Oh, really, Delida? You don't like the music? Well, the YouTube channel doesn't have the music at all. So that is... That's some that's an option there as well. Using just a crisis for two. Interesting. Man, beating three Field of the Deads is so tough. Yeah, that time wipe was nasty. Yeah, I gotta I gotta wait with the Legion's end. We can't we can't use it yet. If they have if they have Teferi plus Gape Shift, obviously we're dead. If they have that combo. It did seem like they would have more crisis with being like just using a crisis like that is just kind of telling you that they have more of them. Yeah, I would probably still be, if Magic Sorry, wasn't, wait. if I wasn't playing Magic, I'd probably still I've just be a teacher. Time. That's what I did before I started playing Magic full-time. But yeah, this is a loss. Tough matchup. Tough matchup. With no time wipe, maybe, like, we probably get there with no time wipe. But there was time wipe. We did not get there. So my opponent has more scape shifts in hand. They, they just discarded a scape shift to, to hand size. So they have more scape shifts in hand. So I can, I can Legion's end, but then they just scape shift the next turn. I mean, I guess I just have to do it, though. Yeah, so they have all, all the scape shifts, and they have a time wipe. They have Teferi combo kill. Teferi combo kill I can't beat. I mean, that was... Cooperation is the path to self-improvement. So admittedly, that's going to be a really tough matchup for us. The Angel deck is not very good against Sweepers. Um, I am glad we brought in all the Gideons in the sideboard and everything. Uh, but yeah, that'll be a tough matchup. So yeah, this is our Orzhov Angel deck. Uh, Ugin, Command the Dreadhorde, those cards were awesome. Our Angels were pretty good. Resplendent was fantastic. Seraph was pretty good. Shalai, not so much. We didn't actually draw and or play Lyra hardly at all. It wasn't out too often. Honor Guard did, did some good work for us. So did Tithe Taker. Both those two drops were nice. So yeah. It's not the best deck in the format, but it can pull out some wins. And uh, there we go. All right. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, 
Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But thanks for watching. Orzov Angels here, and I'll see you for the next video.